Hello, my name is Rodney Robinson and I am the administrator for the Facebook group Pendulum Dowsing and Energy Balancing. Today I want to talk about the aspect of dowsing, or rather pendulum use, for manifestation, more commonly called alchemy or pendulum alchemy. And this is where you use your pendulum in order to create change. In fact, I started with my dowsing career, just like many of you, using your pendulum to obtain simple yes and no responses. And then I moved on to using charts. And, uh, you know, over, over more recent years, I now use yes and no dowsing and chart dowsing really only to support my work with manifestation and healing. So, very simply, what this is, is you create with your pendulum what's known in mes metaphysical language a cone of power, really an energy vortex which carries the energy of your intention. And your intention is in the form of a spoken decree. Some people like to use the term command. In my group you'll see me refer to pendulum decrees because a decree can include positive affirmations which your pendulum will empower and will really super boost the effect of. You can use it with prayer, simple prayers, so you can use it alongside prayers of protection for example at the beginning of your dowsing session and you can use it with straightforward commands such as increase my level of happiness today. And you would just allow the pendulum to continue to rotate until it either comes to a stop or more usually for me it changes from a circular swing to a to and fro swing like that. And that's the indication that the pendulum work is done and you can move on to another decree or you can finish your session there. Now I do need to refer you to the group files section for two excellent PDF documents that have been written not by myself but by a pendulum expert in the group. One is called Psychic Protection and the other is called Preparation for Pendulum Dowsing. And both these, these documents are full of excellent practical advice that you should be aware of and should incorporate into your dowsing practice because it will increase your ability to create successful uh, dowsing in order to obtain questions if that's what you're doing but also a greater success in your pendulum manifestation or healing work. I'm going to leave that for you to, to uh, read and digest and and uh, become aware of because it would fill the whole video if I wanted to talk about that aspect. Now, as we've often stated in the group, the kind of pendulum that you use really does matter for this kind of work. For dowsing it's not so important, but I would say go for a pendulum that you're attracted to, that you feel a resonance with and that you like the look of. But for pendulum alchemy, you want one that is also of a high natural vibratory state. All objects vibrate with a frequency, and that subtle frequency. For us humans, it's called our aura, but every object has an auric field around it with a different frequency. Now you can obtain this by using what's known as a bovis scale. These are also found in the ch as charts in the file section. There's also some information about that scale. Perhaps more simply, if you're just starting with this work, to use a percentage scale, and you simply are looking for a percentage level of vibrational frequency above 100%. So you ask the question, what is the percentage degree of vibrational frequency of this pendulum? and you're looking for a level of above 100%. And this is 
what we term to be a high vibrational pendulum. The other quality of a pendulum, and there are many qualities of every pendulum that you use, is the energetic colour. In my opinion, the best energetic colour for a pendulum used in this way is negative green or grey because this part of the electromagnetic spectrum incorporates both black and white. Black is very, very good for creating the energy that is suitable to bring about endings, endings of a situation. It might be the track that somebody's life is taking that is not of a beneficial nature. For example, they may of continual bad luck, that their projects continually fail, then you want to change the track of that, that, that energetic track that they seem to be locked into. And uh, so the black of negative green is very good at stopping that and creating change, and the white is very, very good for creating the state for new beginnings, the birth of new beginnings and um, new situations to manifest themselves. The other thing is that that uh, frequency is of a push-pull nature. So black and white are kind of opposing forces, so you have a push and pull. And it's rather like when you're trying to get a station car to move, one of the things you can do is just apply force to the back of the car. But a better way to create movement is to kind of push and release. Push and release. And that dual action of push and release is more likely to create movement. And this is how I would describe the action of negative green or grey if it's the natural emission from a pendulum. To obtain that information, you would use a colour chart like this, and you would hold the pendulum over it and ask the question, in the name of the highest good, please indicate the colour, sorry, the energetic colour of this pendulum. And you would just watch the pendulum trap round the chart and settle into one of the segments, which this one has done, and it's negative green. A lot of the styles of it, the Egyptian styles of pendulum like this, Isis, do emit negative green. So you will find that, that if you have a pendulum like this, more than likely that's the colour energy that it will uh, that it will emit. White is also good. That would be my next choice. Blue after that. Those those three really are what, what, what you're really looking for for this kind of work. Okay. There is the issue over the uh, cord, the cord, whether it's a cord or a chain. A cord would be preferable because metal is very conductive, not only of electricity but also of subtle energy. And it's thought that this conduction from the environment, from your hand, from the pendulum, back to your hand, that movement can create um, a disturbance to the, the vortex that you're trying to create to send your intention. Okay. The other movement that you can use with your pendulum is a... Uh, sorry, a counterclockwise movement. And the two movements that you see, and this has caused a little bit of confusion, CW, if you read in the group, that means clockwise. CCW is counterclockwise. I often get people asking me that in the group. So counterclockwise is used for removing energy. And a case for doing this may be, for example, the removal of a negative emotion such as fear. And if you're doing it for yourself, the, the root word release is a great word to use. So I would use the, the, uh, the pendulum decree. I now release fear. 
and then you just allow the pendulum to continue to rotate as before. And you will find that the pendulum will rotate for differing levels of time. Sometimes it will just do a few gyrations and change of other decrees. It will seem to go on forever. And this is an indication of how much work the pendulum is doing to create that change. So it's quite useful actually. I quite enjoy gaining that feedback from the pendulum to see is this something that is really a huge issue and that the pendulum is working very hard to correct? Or is it something that's just a, just a, a bit of a minor thing that only takes a second or two and it's corrected? So that's quite useful to know. Now, there are many examples that I could give you of decrees and I tend to now, as I'm making decrees, file them under different headings so that I can find them very easily. So for example, protection. I'd have my protection decrees uh, for my financial and business improvement. I may have another heading for that. Um, another heading may be well-being, general healing, um, you know, virtually everything that you can think of, you could, you could make a heading from. And it just makes it easier to find the kind of decrees that you're, that you're looking for. Um, I'm going to give you a few examples of decrees that you might want to start this procedure with because they are very good for enhancing the whole process of using the pendulum as a transmitter. I always think of my pendulum as a transceiver because when you're dowsing, you're receiving information and when you're doing pendulum manifestation or alchemy, you're sending pendulum, uh, sorry, energy, energy out through your pendulum. And the pendulum is acting rather like a, an antenna in the whole sort of mechanics of what's going on. So some, some good degrees to, to begin with, for example, I trust in the process of working with pendulums for healing and manifestation. Um, here's a neutralize remove one, so we'll swing this one anti-clockwise. Neutralize, remove, and transmute false light. We don't want any false light from low dense energies coming in or creeping in to your energy work. If you've done your protection, that's very, very unlikely anyway increase my level of consciousness to do pendulum healing with 100% effectiveness. Okay. Neutralize my doubts about pendulum work and send them winter grey energy. Okay. Notice that was a neutralize, but it was kind of not exactly a clear remove. I really only use the anti-clockwise if it's really clear, remove, and the adage to remember is if in doubt, spin clockwise, and you won't go wrong. Okay, a good command or root word for your decrees is harmonise. So I'm going to use one now. Harmonise me with this pendulum so that I always obtain the most accurate information possible and the most positive and beneficial results when healing, manifesting, balancing or clearing. Okay, so it didn't take very long to do that harmonisation. I've used this pendulum for a little while now, so it shouldn't be quite too much harmonising with me. Um, when you're beginning, perhaps you want to raise your level of confidence because confidence is a key issue in dowsing. So raise my level of confidence to 